Great morning, Comfort Killers. Let's talk about decisions. I am Stacey A. Cross. There's no E in my name. Today is a great day, beautiful day. Hey, I wrote this book, The Comfort Killers, Your Journey to Success, How to Change Your Life Using Tools You Already Have. And in this book here, I go over decisions and why is it important? Well, you want to talk about, oh, I want some freedom. I want some power. I want some control. I want some authority. Well, it's in the decisions that you make on a daily basis. A lot of entrepreneurs don't get this right, okay? A lot of people don't get this right. I feel bad for them because it's the decisions. Uh, you have a choice, and the choice is the freedom, okay? You can go left, you can go right, you can go up, you can go down, you can turn off the light, you can turn it on. Those things are decisions. You can eat the bread, you cannot eat the bread, okay? You can drink the water, you don't have to drink the water. It's up to you. That's your personal freedom. Your, that's your birthright is that you could control that decision. There's a lot of people all over the world that really can't think for themselves, right? There's other countries and other places that have this dictatorship rule that says, I'm going to, I'm propaganda is, I'm going to teach you how to think. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to show you how to think and how to make your decisions. And here in the beautiful country of America, we have the ultimate control on the decisions that we make. You may, you may say that's wrong, Stacey. How could you say that? No, no, no. You're wrong. Okay, listen. You have the power to choose. And if you don't believe you have the power to choose, then you have already given it up to someone, something, somewhere, some I don't know, something else. Okay? And I want you to take that power back. And that's how we look at decisions on a simplistic, simplified level. And we're going to amplify it right now. Okay, so here's the deal. All right, you have to make a decision. I made a decision to, to quit my nine to five. Was it the right decision? None of your business, okay? <laughs> Was it the wrong decision? I don't know. But I made that decision. I own it. I take responsibility for it. I have accountability to it, okay? You make decisions based upon a lot of different things. The facts that you have at hand, your environment, the people whispering in your ear, okay? Are they whispering the right things in your ear? Some people make decisions and regret it long, long after they made that decision. Why did they regret it? Because it turned out to be not what they thought it would be. And they are taking outside influence on things that maybe should pertain only to them. It's a personal choice. Now in this personal choice, why I say you have freedom, the freedom goes with your decision making skills. Now, how do you make a decision? It's up to you. For me, I made a little system on how I make decisions, but I kind of threw that system out sometimes with intuition, right? With the gut feeling. You ever had that feeling you, you, you're like, man, I'm not, you know, I don't feel like going out today. And then you see on the news that something happened, uh, at the place that you were going to go out or you hear there was a car accident or something like that. Well, let me tell you something about decision and how I look at it. If I'm on, if I'm in traffic, right. And I start to be upset at the traffic. I just realized that I, I got a little road rage. I got to handle, I got to handle this road rage because I don't know where it came from. It came, it's coming, it's not coming from a nice place. It's coming from a negative place. Right. And then down the street, I see someone got pulled over or I see some, someone got in a car accident or a flat tire. And this happened to me before where I got a flat tire. And instead of getting angry and full of rage, I said, man, maybe the flat tire was supposed to slow me down and stop me completely so that I don't get in danger. Or I'm not, I move, I remove myself from the danger down the street. I don't know what's happening down the street, but that's the way I think about it. Okay. That, well, Hey, listen, I chose to, to leave the house at this time. I chose to make this turn. I chose to go over the nail. I chose to, I chose that. It's, it is all on me. It takes the responsibility, put it on me. Once you put the responsibility on someone else, on the government, on a system, on your school, on your teachers, on your cousins, on your mama, on your papa, if you put that responsibility on them, then you have removed control out of your life and you put the control back in their hands. Okay. So I want you to pull the control back. And that's what I, I talk about in this book is having complete authority over your life is by making the decisions. Now on an entrepreneurial level, because a lot of us want to gain that entrepreneurial spirit. And if you want that entrepreneurial spirit and, and you always had that bug in you, that juice in you, that burning desire in you, I, well, I, I uh, want you to go over to the comfortkillers.com right now. I have a lot of articles to get you started. I got some programs to get you started. Um, so let's talk about that right now. Your entrepreneurial spirit, your journey, right? So you have this, this, this craving to, to do more with your life. You have this burning, this innate desire, this feeling, this, uh, this bubble gut. Okay. You have a bubble gut for entrepreneurship. That's great. 
I'm with you because that's the bubble gut that I had a few years ago when I walked out the seminar and started the Comfort Killers. I started this company, the Comfort Killers, as a way for me to get uncomfortable and get the hell out of the life that I was living. That cyclic, the cyclic despair that I was living in. I wanted to, I wanted to do something else. So I made the decision to start a business. That comes before anything else. It comes before changing your life. You have to make that decision. It is the precursor that sets everything else up. Once you make one decision, there's going to be other things that come in your path that you have to either make a decision on or not make a decision. Remember that when you don't make a decision though, you are making a decision. And that, and, and that a lot of people don't know that. Oh, I ain't doing that. Well, you ain't doing nothing. Okay. So even if you don't make a decision or you prolong it or you procrastinate it, you are making a decision. And that also has doors opening down the other side of that, but that has more decisions, more inactivity, more it, the laws, the laws. I'm telling you about these laws. These laws are very important. Okay. Law of cause and effect. All right. What, what what's this other law here? Things that are, tend to be in motion, all right? Stay in motion. Things that don't tend to be in motion, they, they're, they're not in motion, tend to stay there, okay? So I follow these laws, these very specific laws of the universe, and we say, okay, how do we work that law? How do we um, implement this law, the law of cause and effect? You want to be at cause. When you make a decision, you're at cause. You are the cause of something happening. Even if you're stuck in traffic, take the, take the responsibility. Let's say you're late, okay? You're late for your flight. And I don't know how many of you guys are late for your flight, but working in the airline industry for, for, for seven years, I've seen it all. I heard all the excuses. It was the traffic, okay? My dog ate my, my boarding pass, okay? My, my luggage is packed because it has gifts to my grandkids, you know? And now you're late for your flight because I'm telling you, you can't go over 50 pounds. Your choices are so limited when you don't make the right decision to begin with. So the decision starts and say, you know what? I'm going to sleep another 30 minutes. I don't care. I might make my flight. I might make my mind, but I'm going to run to the airport and catch my flight. And I'm going to have a bag of excuses with me. And they're going to open the, the door to the plane. They're going to definitely do that. And then what happens? You get that traffic, right? Then you make another decision. You know what? I'm going to go down this street. Then boom, that traffic is in there. Then you finally make it to the airport and you run inside and you go up to the agent and they say, Hey, I'm sorry. The flight's closed. And then you have a decision right then and there to either accept it, accept the responsibility, or put the excuses out and put it on someone else, which you inevitably gave up control of. So once you put the responsibility on yourself, and I used to wait for this. I just wanted people to put the responsibility back on yourself. I used to say, come on, tell me. Just please tell me it's your fault. Just tell me it's your fault. And they won't tell me it's their fault because they're too, they have pride. They have egos. They feel like they're entitled. You're not entitled to anything, anything but opportunity. And how do you get opportunity? You create that shit, okay? You create opportunities. You don't wait, sit down, sit down and wait for opportunities. You create opportunities. So let's talk about that person. If they did not accept responsibilities, their options become limited, okay? They have a limited view on, on life. They have a limited view on opportunities. They don't see it. And their options, they just decrease like this. So instead of now we're talking because you're hitting me with all sorts of excuses, you keep going, you keep going, time is passing, okay? Time is passing, okay? Now the options are becoming very, very, very limited. I can't help you. You can't help yourself. No one can help no one, okay? So what I want you to do is look at decisions on a simplistic level. And you wake up today, how many decisions are you making? How many decisions do you think that you're making but you're really not making? Someone's making it for you. How many decisions are you subconsciously making that you think that you had no input in, but your subconscious is rolling on automatic and just like breathing, you don't know. Hey, I don't have to keep saying, Hey, listen, breathe, Stace, breathe now, breathe now, breathe now. No, we don't have to because our subconscious takes care of that there, right? Okay. So what I want you to do is get on a conscious level of this decision-making process and pull back the control, pull back the responsibility, take the accountability. When things go right, you love taking the accountability. But once it goes wrong, once things are, ah, uh, they ain't feeling too right. You, uh, oh, it ain't my fault, bro. That's not, I wash my hands of that. That's not me. Okay. But so that's the wrong attitude. And that attitude will keep you down a, a life 
that you don't want to live and you really are not aware. Okay. The awareness piece is, is just removed. It's all out of there. So this is what I want you to do. Focus on your decision today. Take a notepad, paper, pen, the, the comfort killer journal. If you have one, go to the comfortkillers.com, go grab one. Okay. Take that. And I want you to note all the things that come up in your head that you rationalize. Okay. That you reasoned with, that you made excuses for all these things are de decisions. Okay. Even if you ate, man, I should go take a shower. And then you're like, nah, I'll do that. That's a decision. Okay. That's a decision. Yeah, I should go brush my, go brush your teeth, okay? Brush your teeth. I am Stacey A. Cross. There's no E in my name. If you want the complete package of the entire process from comfort to purpose, I suggest you head over to thecomfortkillers.com right now. I want to get you to purpose. My mission, my goal is to transform 1 million passionate people from comfort to purpose because I know purpose is the end game, okay? You want to have purpose because you can't go into business without it. You don't even know yourself. You don't even know why you're here on, on, on Mother Earth, okay? You're just walking around wherever the wind blows, you go, okay? So we can't have that, not no more. So that's why I created this company, The Comfort Killers, to help people move from comfort, passionate people, not just re you're not, not regular people. I don't want, hey, if, if you average beverage, don't want you. If you regular, can't handle you, okay? So I want passionate people to move from comfort to purpose and comfort, you know, where you are right now. That's what we call comfort, where you are right now, because you're not really living to your maximum potential. So I am Stacey A. Cross. There's no E in my name. You enjoy the rest of your day. Hope this, if you found value with this, go ahead and share it into your network. Do exactly what you need to do to get this information out. I am. Peace.